A kid's first haircut is a milestone, especially when it's an Angora kid. This unique breed of goat is raised specifically for its hair, and they get it cut or shorn twice a year. Angoras originated in Turkey but were brought to the U.S. in 1849. Now the vast majority of the nation's Angora herd is found in the Edwards Plateau in west central Texas. This area is a lot like Turkey. You have a, a temperate climate. It doesn't usually get too cold. Um, there's a lot of brush to eat. Uh, they will do good on grass, but they really like brush and weeds, and there's a lot of that in this area too. Angoras differ from other goats because they're raised for their hair instead of their meat. Some ranchers consider angoras too high maintenance since you have to shear them twice a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Gary thinks the extra work is worth it. The elegant fiber taken from the angora goat is called mohair. Ranches like Gary's in northwestern Concho County help provide 90% of the mohair grown in the United States. This uncommon animal grows fiber much more efficiently than any other livestock. Normally, an adult goat will get between four to six pounds. The better the year, the more grass you have, the more mohair they have. And for a, a goat kid, the first shearing like today will be about two and a half to three pounds. And then when you shear the kids again in, in February, you might get four pounds. The luxurious hair is used in everything from clothes to carpets. The silky smooth fleece has long been called the diamond fiber for its radiance and luster. The fiber is actually stronger than steel of the same diameter and is even naturally flame resistant. These goats do more than just contribute to our woven goods. Angora goats also are useful for brush control, which is critical to the long-term health of the land. They also do much better in the Texas heat than cattle, a plus since the region around Gary's Ranch is still suffering from drought. About four or five years ago, we had a bad cold spell come through, a rainy spell in March, and there's a lot of people that lost a bunch of their goats. I lost over 225 of my nannies. And then the last, the, the drought of 2011 hurt. But the last two years we've had good kid crops and we're on the rebound. Gary has been around this majestic breed for as long as he can remember. The challenges of raising them are no match for the satisfaction he gets when the shearing is done. For TFB News, Amanda Hill, Eden.